Hey guys, it's Faskivan here. How are you all doing? So today I'm checking in with a setup guide on the current Magneto Epic Invasion score runs. So for those of you who don't know, a score run is where you enter the invasion with a full party of four, but only one of those four people is getting the damage done, effectively boosting their score overall, and the other three people are just there to support and maximize the points because as you know like most of BB content is scaling based on the amount of people entering the fight so that's why like I was able to do a solo run much easier than I would do a four man run with people who I have to carry so let's jump into it okay so first thing first basic stuff but worth to mention because of the amount of times i have forgotten this is absolutely ridiculous make sure to check your settings and turn off auto counter attack yeah? this is just to make switching presets easier as you can see on the screen this situation occurs if you don't have this thing turned off because that the guard damage phase of Magneto is doing constant damage, your character will keep on bouncing back and start attacking, making you unable to swap your presets. So obviously this is wasting time and making your core rubbish overall. So yeah, this is how it looks when you have it off and the switching is just much easier. Another thing to look out for is obviously the how to use companion skills that should be off as well because you don't want to waste your companions when it's not the best time to use them. So this is basically the two steps you have to make sure before setting up. Step number two, pre-match. This is to have three presets set up for the fight. So basically you want to have a trash kill preset, a boss kill preset and a guard damage preset. So obviously for the trash kill one, I'm currently on the trash skill setup uh, of myself. So for this one, you want to use your best AOE skills, which you can cover the most ground with to obviously get rid of the trash mobs as fast as possible, because that time is the most precious resource in the invasion. So this is my setup for uh, Black Widow. I'm not sure like what skills other people use, but these are the ones that I found the most useful. I have the Ultimate Ghost Recovery Blitz set up for this set as well, because obviously like Ultimate Ghost is very powerful for Black Widow. I'm using Spider-Man in the active companion slot because he is one of those who helps clearing mobs. The, the most because he's just obviously like getting spawned and keeps on attacking until he disappears and in the omega card slot you should have the one that gives you the most overall damage because at this point super villain damage doesn't really work but again doesn't really worth to go villain damage just for this so moving on, uh, set number two is my boss skill setup. Obviously the highest single target damaging skills are here. I'm using Tina in the uh, active slot because obviously she is giving me the 25% roughly like something like that extra damage. And I'm still debating between the ultimate ghost recovery uh, blitz set or going back to Maestro uh, for the other uh, super villain damage because I think I'm, I'm about like 60 something percent like this and would be 74 percent with Maestro. So gonna have to check if the difference is making sense, but I'm gonna be including that in the next video, which I will be making after we have done our score runs or like our testing runs rather because they're not gonna be the final score runs but we are going to be doing some testing today and tomorrow so hopefully before the invasion ends I'm gonna be able to upload that next video and can confirm which set you should be using here and the third set is the guard damage set as you can see my power drops significantly when I'm swapping into this minus 600,000 power that's because I'm using a guard damage set so the only reason I have Steampunk on, it's like before you guys accuse me of wailing too much, is because I actually wanted to get Captain America started, 
but I've just realized that there is, it doesn't really make sense for the invasion because even though if I would max out Captain America like all the way, I still wouldn't be able to reach uh, the scores that I would be able to achieve with Black Widow. So that's the only reason all of my uh, special costumes were on Black Widow as default because I'm always drawing on her. So instead of like moving everything over to Captain America, I started leveling up the, the steampunk costume and then I realized there is no point to move to Captain America so I just left it on Black Widow because I'm getting guard, like 27% guard damage from this chest and it's also boosting the close quarter combat skills which are my only high guard damage skills on a Black Widow regardless of the skill level not making any difference on how much guard damage your skill is doing i didn't know this back then so anyway this is still my best guard damage costume so in the end it still makes more sense for me to use this badge wise i recommend to use dormammu here because obviously the amount of dodges you get from this will help you dodge magneto's attacks as well which obviously you want since those attacks hit very hard so that helps tremendously to avoid dying on the guard break phase something that is a must is using scrug as you can see i have neither leveled her up she is still level one and her skills are level one as well because even that gives you 20 percent extra guard damage on the target she hits i don't see a point to leveling up her so much because it's only gonna give you a few more extra person so i think like at level 10 or something like that it's gonna be like 25 percent not much more so i don't really see a point to waste our resources until we know if this is going to be the theme of next invasions as well or not so yeah definitely make sure to use scrag for the guard damage phase as your active companion and omega card wise you want to go your guard damage as much as possible so as you can see i have our kingpin equipped and i also have the hella card equipped which is from the number nine set so this way you can farm from cool hopefully everyone picked up theirs by now and kingpin unfortunately is a dark zone set so obviously you would have to buy dogs on omega card boxes if you don't have this already apart from this i'm using defense all the way so i've used this rubbish doctor strange card finally i have a use for one of my seven doctor strange cards as you can see i'm not really going all in i don't really care about the stats so much so this was rolled double super villain damage decrease at four star so that's good enough for me i haven't even tried to, to go any further different spares doesn't make a difference pvp obviously doesn't make a difference so don't worry about those and i'm also using the new mutants number 12 because of the male damage decrease i'm obviously always close range to magneto so this helps a lot and i also managed to get a super, super villain damage decrease on this one as well so like this let me double check i think with this set in total i have about 50 percent uh, super villain damage uh, damage decrease sorry yes 50.9 percent and my guard damage is at 87.5 percent so yeah that's about the setups apart from that what i want to mention is specialization so i have this only one specialization that is connected to guard and damage with black widow as i've said only close quarters combat skills have high guard damage for black widow so this specialization boosts the guard damage of those skills giving me another 23 percent so i have maxed out this trade for the invasion only so obviously if you have something like that make sure to max it as much as possible and if you have something that you can replace with it then bring it in but if you would lose too much damage overall then leave it be because damage still worth much more than guard damage so the reason i'm using it is because my fourth active trait is normally intelligence improvising which doesn't really help me that much since i can 
two or three shot magneto anyway so i don't really need too much cooldown decrease and uh, if you are doing the damage alone it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to take magneto to one times hp from five times hp straight down so you're going to have some dead time in between because obviously when he does the pull for example you cannot attack but your cooldowns are actively decreasing so by the time that after finishes your skills are going to be back up again anyway so as i'm saying i don't really see a point of using intelligence here either and in the trash stage it doesn't make that much of a difference anyway for me so yeah i think that's about it for the setup so let's get into the stages and what you should be doing there sorry to disappoint guys i'm gonna have to end it on that note right there uh, so we will be doing the testing tomorrow so i don't really want to provide information that will prove to be wrong so we will finish the testing tomorrow and gonna put together a video based on the findings of that testing which i'm gonna be uploading by friday evening eu time so it is still time for the weekend score runs for everyone so i hope this was overall still useful for you guys and let me know if you have anything else to add if you have found anything else and yeah apart from that just the usual Keep on liking, keep on subscribing if you haven't already, and catch you guys soon. Peace.